Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so hello everybody. Welcome to my August TBR. So for this TBR, I decided to only include historical romance in this TBR video. Now, historically, I have done a pretty poor job of sticking to my TBRs. <laughs> like, may, sometimes I do better than others, but I never read all of the books. So, because of the romance readathon, which is um, like Bridgerton themed, I decided to only make this video about historical romances. Am I going to read only historical romances? Probably not. I'll probably for sure read some fantasy, <laughs> at least because I know that's what I'm in the mood for. But this video is only historical romances, and I thought if you are on my team for the readathon, if you haven't heard about that, I will link my um, announcement video for the readathon down below. If you're on my team and you want to do like a buddy read with me, then I thought if you have any of these books that I am talking about that you also really want to read, we could do that in the Discord if you want. So if you want to do that, let me know which book, and I'll make sure to prioritize that, and we can chat about it in the Discord here and there. So. Okay, the first book that I want to talk about is actually one that I'm super excited about that I have kind of been holding on to, but this is the month and I'm very excited about it. It is An Island Princess Starts a Scandal by Adriana Herrera. This is book two in her uh, series of historical romances. The first one I think is A Caribbean Heiress in Paris, which I read and really enjoyed. So this one is Sapphic. It is the second book in the series and I believe it has, I actually don't entirely know <laughs> what this is about other than um, sapphic, diverse romance, and uh, I've enjoyed this author's writing before, so I'm excited about it. Okay, so that's... I have 10 books on this list, by the way. So then the next book that I want to read is this book by Cecilia Grant. This is A Lady Awakened. This is the first book in this series, and I have attempted to read the second book in this series before, and I didn't particularly like it, but I really want to give this author another chance, and I really think this would be a good fit because this is a widow romance, and my team is uh, Team Seductress, which has a widow heroine storyline. So this is basically about our heroine who is a widow, and she needs to prove that she is with child so that she can secure her fortune and she has like a limited amount of time to do that because her husband has passed away. I'm probably butchering this. So she enters into a month-long business proposition with her neighbor for to hopefully get her pregnant. So I'm excited about this one. I hope that I enjoy it. I really feel like I will. Excited about it. Okay, so now the next book is one that has been on my TBR multiple times, multiple times. And uh, I have said this is the book that I have to read this year, so I put it on this month's TBR, and this is going to be a priority, and it is Flowers from the Storm by Laura Kinsale. I feel like every historical romance reader has read this, but this is one that I have, you know, I do this a lot, I say this a lot, this is a book that I feel like I'm going to love, and it has been really hyped, and a lot of people have said, I think you're going to love this, and that always gives me a little bit of pause when I go to read a book because I'm like, I sure hope that I do, I sure hope that I do. So all I know about this is that it's pretty emotional. I believe we have a disabled hero and it's beautifully written and I've heard a lot of people like cry and I'm like, yes, mess me up. I'm here for it. Excited about this one. Also, I feel like this one, this one is over 500 pages, so this will get you extra points. Bonus. Okay, now this one is an interesting one. It is Ritual of Proof by Dara Joy. I don't think I've ever even mentioned this other than I've showed it on Step Back Saturday because it has truly one of the most epic step backs that I've ever seen in my entire life. So I think this one may be a little bit fantasy romance too. The back of it just says, it's a world where women hold all the power. A titled man can do little but accept his fate. His sole purpose is to secure a good match and hope his bed price is high enough. So I think this is going to be super interesting. Um, the blurb says, this is from the incomparable Dara Joy, it comes an extraordinary novel that examines the complex relationships of men and women. I'm so excited about this. I really, really, really want to get to this one. Okay, so now this next one is also like a very classic historical bodice ripper that I have specifically heard Chels from TikTok talk about. They have a podcast and they also have talked about this book there. It is To Have and To Hold by Patricia Gaffney. So I think that this one has a very morally gray, almost like dark hero, and I'm really interested in how this book explores that type of relationship. So I'm super hyped about this one. I feel like people either love it or hate it, and I'm trying my best to just go in with an open mind and, you know, 
I just really want to experience this book like so much. So also here's the step back which is so beautiful. Oh, I just love it so much. Okay. So now this next one is also a classic one, which I still have not read. And that's why I put it on this TBR because it's like gotta be a priority and it is A Kingdom of Dreams by Judith McNaught. This is another one that I feel like is required reading for historical romance readers. And I just still haven't gotten to it. This has the, oh gosh, I almost has, hate to even open this because the cover is kind of pulling away. But man, do I ever love that I have this edition. I need to try and figure out how to secure that because I don't want it to fall off. But anyway, this is, oh gosh, yeah, that's like just barely hanging on by a thread. I'm obviously not going to read this. I, I own a newer version of this, which I bought first, which is the new cover. Um, but then I like tried to hunt down this edition because it's just so lovely. And as much as I love nothing more than reading like a, an old paperback, like this is just a little too precious to just sit there and read. Like the cover is literally almost coming off. Anyway, don't know really what this one is about. This one is like the beginning of the Westmoreland saga. This is like, I feel like when books are really hyped, especially historical romances, like I don't even really know what it's about. I try to not pay attention to that. And I just want to experience it, you know? Sometimes that works out great, sometimes not so much, but I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. I'm very excited. Okay, so now this book is actually one that I am reading. I started this earlier this month. This is Black Silk by Judith Ivory. I'm super interested in this. What I've read of this so far, the writing is absolutely beautiful. It's really complicated, super interesting dynamic, and this is getting read, for sure. For sure. Okay, so now I have three books left. This one is When the Earl Met His Match by Stacey Reed. I feel like this is a book that people really love by Stacey Reed, and I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited for it. Once again, I don't really know what this is about, but Stacey Reed writes amazing, amazing historical romances, and I love her, and I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so now this next one is one that I have started on audio before, but I never talked about it because especially this year, I've really kind of been struggling with listening to audiobooks. Like, my attention is really having a hard time with audiobooks. So that's one reason why my reading pace has slowed down so much, because I'm not just burning through audiobooks. I'm, I'm finding it difficult to pay attention, and I don't want to just hit play and not pay attention to what is being said, you know? So this is a book that I actually started on audio several times, but I'm going to try and read it physically now. This is Aphrodite and the Duke by J.J. McAvoy. I believe this is her debut historical. I know she has written indie romances before, but I'm really excited about this. Um, what I read from it, I, I mean, the writing was solid. I liked the characters, but for some reason, like, my attention was wandering, and I don't think it was the book's fault. I think it was a me thing, so I'm very, very excited about this, and uh, I just love the cover. Like, look, she's just so beautiful. Okay, so now this last one is another one I don't know anything about, but this is an author that I've read only one of her books before, Heidi Kimball. She writes closed door romances and she wrote A Heart in the Highlands, which I really, really loved. This is another of her historical romances. It's pretty short and I do, I believe I have the audio for this, so I'm really excited to dive into it. I love, love how sensitively she writes her romances and how she builds her characters. I just think it's fantastic, so. All right, there you have it. Those are the 10 historical romances that I want to, that I hope to get to in August. I hope you all have an exciting month of reading planned. If you have made it this far, please feel free to leave me an apple emoji, and I'll see you all in my next video.